you are watching Melody Lane with me you're gonna have a great crafting time here's a shout out to a few of the people who support this channel on patreon Anne, Linda, Geraldine, Sharon, Lori, Annette, Nita, Marilyn, Christine, Jane, Susie, Mary, Missy, Rufy, Jessica, Rhonda, Bobby, Ronald, Elston, Amy, Pamela, Cheryl, Melissa, Georgianne, Margaret, LaShawn, Jeremy, Vicki, Ronnell, Rebecca, Treva, Sabrina, Sandra, Pamela, Kirby, Sandy, Rose, Patty, Stephanie, Kim, Sherry, Mel, Tina, Debbie, Claudette, and Heather. A huge thank you to my co-sponsors. You guys are awesome. Hello. Okay. First, I want to say my thing was small and I thought it was full size. Now, everything on the screen is the wrong size. I'm like, why is that so big when I'm looking at the thing? So let me fix it so you guys can see everything. This is crazy. Okay. Um, so do you guys know what we're doing today? I've shared on Facebook a lot. Shared on Patreon some things, I think. Okay, let me make my camera bigger. So things gonna be messed up today. Sorry, guys. Okay. Um, one thing I wanna show you is this card. This is a wiper card. I've done videos on this, but this is another one. I have uploaded it to my projects. For those of you who support and get my projects, you get this. Look how cute. Look, little cricket guy with the Santa hat. Isn't it cute? And then there's other ones here. You can choose what colors you want. You can make it any way you want. I just think it's so cute. Merry Christmas. That's a cricket's voice. Merry Christmas. Okay, just had to show you that. I also want to say, because I've not said this that much. Let me get these. Um, my pins... So some of you who support me at $15 or more already have these three pins, but next we have this attitude of gratitude and this thank you card that are going to be next. And I, I have to tell you now because October, this is the, you have to start now for $15 if you want the attitude of gratitude. I think that one's going to be the next one. The attitude of gratitude gratitude enamel pin you have to support in october november and december and then mid-december we're sending out this next pin if you don't have this card and you don't have these other pins you and but you start supporting now you will get this pin and this card if for some reason you just get the pin sent out let me know we'll send you the card that you can keep them in so i just want to make sure you guys know that for those of you who collect my enamel pins and I all right let's go over here to the overhead and look you can see my floor it's a mess this oh and there's a big space at the bottom I am NOT a professional at all now I gotta find my overhead camera Hmm. I can't find it. I gotta have a camera that's on. There's the shout outs. Overhead, there it is. Sorry guys. Let me I'm gonna make it bigger so it's zoomed in better. Okay. So I want to show you this and hopefully this is clear. I have changed my settings and also hopefully this is better. Let me know if it's lagging at all because I changed some settings and I changed my internet. Okay. So I wanted to show you this. 
So this is what we're doing. We are making, we're writing on popsicle sticks. Here's some of them. I have four sheets of these we need to do. Like I did one here, I did one already. We have it in this little, um, Kobe, stop. We have it in this little geometric, I'm calling it a geometric jar. And I thought, well, you guys, I made this in two sizes already. And I thought, well, that's not very big, but once I get all the popsicle sticks in there and I'll have room to add to them, and then you can save them. But um, you can use a jar or anything you want. You don't have to make this. This is an excess, by the way. Uh, but I will show you how to make this too, just in case you guys wanna make these little, I think they're kinda neat. I have a big one too. This is a bigger one. I used with my digital paper, I printed up. And here's this one. Kobe wants to be in the video. He was scratching in his bed. Okay, so, um, do you guys see my mistake? I forgot to put a stick here. It's just, I thought there were 10, but I have 11 in each one. So, um, remember, there's 11 in each file. So I have four different files of this, and we're gonna do this live. So I have another mat ready, and we're gonna load up the popsicle sticks. Um, these are the popsicle sticks I'm using. I have three links for popsicle sticks in the description. None of them are these. They're all close to these. I actually ordered more. These I had for a few years, and I just opened them today. That's how I do things. I walk by things and think, oh, that's pretty. I always wanted to do a popsicle stick project. So someday I will. So I am today. It happened. You know, some people throw things away if they don't use them in six months. And I'm not one of those people. Uh, Carrie is asking what material is the jar? It's just Cricut cardstock. It's, it's just paper. It's just paper. I think it looks pretty cool. I like the way that it's like whoop, whoop. It has like a little curve inside. But that's pretty cool. Didn't know it was like that until I made it. Okay, so um, I did order more popsicle sticks because <laughs> there's so many ideas for this. And I want you guys to go. You can save them here live or after the video, put them in the comments so we can all go back and read the comments in the video to get more ideas from you guys. Because I'm going to tell you, let me come over here. Um, so the idea for this is I, in my life, never have I ever been able to decide where to go to eat. And I really don't go out anywhere to eat when I'm here by myself. Uh, but when my son comes, he's coming Sunday night. Uh, oh, and I, that reminds me, next Thursday night live will be from the car. I'll try to do it around 8 o'clock. I don't know where we'll be, if we'll be charging, or what's going to happen. But if we're just sitting there charging, I'm not, oh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, we're going to go live from the car. My son will be driving, so I can go live. And we'll just chat about anything you want to chat about. Whatever. And um, so it won't be crafting. We can chat about crafting. Okay, so the idea behind this, sorry. I, I just, my mind goes everywhere. So the idea of this one, and there's so many ideas, is you don't know where to eat. So you grab one, and it tells you where to go. This one says McDonald's. Um... But we have, and I also put, I put like a $1 sign. I put $1 sign for all the fast food places. This one is half fast food, but the others don't have it. So 
there'll be less fast food. But my idea for that is if we want to look at the top and decide, do we just want fast food? We can take out all the fast food or, you know, that type of thing. Mine are not really color coded, but you can color code them depending on your needs. And this doesn't have to be about restaurants either. So we're going to talk about that in a minute too. So they can be um, like color coded for the price. Like you want to go to a nice restaurant, you know, put all those in purple or, you know, whatever. Or you want uh, just a cheap restaurant that you sit down at and they come take your order like um, Steak and Shake or Perkins or something. Those are pretty cheap, but they, they're a sit down restaurant where they come and take your order, um, you know, or moderately done. So uh, you can do that. And people also make these for date things, like you don't know what to do or where to go. You can put like go to the movies or go on a picnic or go for a walk or, you know, bike ride or hike or whatever you want to do um, as a couple or whatever. They also make these as consequences. So if a child is bad, they can um, put different consequences on here. They can do chores, like a chore chart. They have to pick one out and do a chore. Um, oh, and if you do a consequence jar, this is just my advice. Like if they're bad and they have to do something, also have a reward jar. Because rewarding is more important than consequences. Rewarding for good behavior is more important than making them do something bad. I also saw a jar for being bored. You know, when the kids are bored, has activities on them. I saw a jar for loving your sibling. It was one made it, I saw these on Pinterest. One for two brothers. One was hug your brother for one minute. One was color with your brother. One was get your brother's laundry together or something. Um are doing things for your sibling or with your sibling playing a board game together so these are so many there's so many things you can do um so i wanted to show you so um wanted to see if you guys had any ideas yet? Lagging and blurry? Is it lagging and blurry for everybody? It looks good. I got the little green square down here. Okay, so I'm going to share these files. There's four of them with the people who support my channel. Now, I have to tell you how to change it because you might not have the same restaurants. I know you won't all have the same restaurants that I have. And um, you might want to change, you might want to do a chore chart where I've set up the words and stuff and all you have to do is click on them and change them. So mine are restaurants, but you can change them to say anything you want. Okay, we're all good, thanks. Okay, we're gonna go to Design Space and this is gonna be a mess. Look at all that, you see my whole screen. Hold on guys. There's two chats on the screen now. Um, DS. Hold on guys. This is, this is how I do things. <laughs> I drag and move things. Okay. There. Now we're putting, oh, I probably made it too big now. Let me drag this over. Oops. And then drag this up. For those of you that are in my learning live videos, here's a little class for you. Scoot that over. There we go. Sorry, I don't know what happened. Okay, so this is a file. This little thing here. Now, the links I have in the description are for jumbo popsicle sticks. There's 
some that are like five and a half and that's like what mine are and mine are just over a half an inch and some of those are also three quarters of an inch and that that's fine if you get regular size popsicle sticks let me just talk to you for a minute i'm talking if you get regular size popsicle sticks you may have to alter the size of these um you can do you don't have to have colored popsicle sticks you can do whatever you want so just know that you can make any kind of a thing like this or anything so let's go over to design space okay so this is the file that i'm sharing this little thing you don't do anything with i use this to size it now if you have like i wanted everything written within five inches and to be less than a half an inch on the popsicle sticks that way it would give me a little leeway of placing my stick on there i didn't want it as wide as my stick okay so when you get this file i'm leaving it here so you guys can see it you can just leave it there and just never cut it uh, or you can click on it and it's down here it says square and then you can hide it now these are all attached together these are restaurants in the villages and they're all attached but if you want to edit them you have to hit the attach button you can't see there it is you have to click detach now let me show you why they're attached see they look the same but now they're not attached and I know because I can click on one now if you have trouble clicking on stuff what I've noticed I don't know if this is new but like I'm clicking right here and this is all connected nothing is happening you have to actually click on the actual letter you have to click on a little part of it that's how uh, some other design programs work and I just noticed this today that that is happening with design space so um once it's not attached you can click on each one let me click make it and show you what happens when it's not attached now there is no way that we can line up our chopsticks that way they're not chopsticks <laughs> popsicle sticks thank you ronald you are amazing uh you could grab I think can you grab each one yeah but you got to click on the actual letter you can grab it and place it but do you guys really want to do that do you want to spend that much time in each one of these and place them in the perfect place for each one I think not so I made it easier I attach them together Did they attach up oh, there they go and now I'm clicking make it oh they didn't attach oh they didn't attach hold on let me grab them attach okay now click make it why are they not attached they're not attaching okay whoops let's try it again they're still not attached nope Oh, am I clicking it twice and it's detaching it? Well, okay. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to open another one. Okay, now it's attached. See, I, I threatened it and that's something that works. You threaten design space and it'll work. I've actually never had that problem before. Okay, uh, we're gonna click make it. And 
And now I can move these where I want. So what I did is I stuck my two purple mats together. Uh, I'm going to show you this mat. So this one, I lined them up on the one inch mark. Well, actually a little past the one inch mark. And I lined up on the, let me pull this off a little. I wanted to show you that I also taped them down. Okay, so, and we're gonna do this. We're actually gonna do this and write on it too. But uh, if you see it twice, it might help. So I made sure that I was putting this past the one inch mark. So I had room to put tape and it would only write within that one inch mark. And I also lined each of these up on the line, each inch line. So each popsicle stick is sitting just like right on the line, okay? And over and down. And just remember there's 11, not 10. I was thinking there were only 10. Okay. Uh, Kathy is asking, are they grouped? No. They're not grouped. There's no reason to group them whatsoever. Not grouped. Okay. Um, so what I want to do, so you got to click on these. And also I used Cricut's font for writing. So these are all free. You can change these to one of your fonts. You may have to change the size or letter spacing if you change the font. Um, the ones with a Y or like the G, I tried to line those up a little higher to be above the line because I'm putting the bottom of the popsicle stick on the line. So all I want to do is make sure that, and also I don't want anything past the six inch mark because that's where I put my tape. So I probably need to move this one a bit. Does that make sense? So instead of moving each letter, we moved them all. And that's why we attached it. Now I'm going to show you how to change your wording because you don't want these to all say this. Okay, so we have to ungroup. No, not ungroup. There's no grouping. Detach. And like this one. If you double click it, it'll come up and I need to delete a space there because that one was over too much. But you can change the words to this to be anything you want to be. It doesn't have to be a restaurant. You can title it anything you want to be. Um, and then attach it back. You don't need to group it. Let's let me show you what happens when you group it. OK, it looks the same. I can move them all together like this, but when I click make it, they don't stay that way. Grouping is only for the canvas. And I also want you to know the reason I have four of these files, well, because I kept coming up with more restaurants. And then I called my mom and she's telling me restaurants. And I called my son and he's telling me restaurants. And um, Jamie said I misspelled something. Oh, the biscuit. Oh, I think I did. Um, yeah, I missed the U. Okay, let's fix it right now. Okay. Um, there. Is that better? Now let's attach them back. And I'm going to bring this back and I'm going to save it. Um, 
What was I saying? Oh, the reason I have that many files is because when you open this, Cricut says, wow, that's a big file. Because when you have a lot of text, it moves slower. It has, it has to think every single letter. The T has two lines in it. It, it's a lot of thinking for the Cricut to do every single thing. Like a shape like this is easy. It's just a square or a circle or even a, a flower shape or something is easy. But with letters, it's much more detailed for everything. Hey, is May May here? I see someone saying, hey, May May. Um, and there's like, if you live in the villages, this might be great for you, but there's like 500 restaurants in the villages. So, um, Gator's not misspelled. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, I thought I put an O. I know how to spell Gator. Okay, I'll fix that one later. Okay, let's get over to the project. Um, We are going to overhead. Okay. So we're not doing this when we're done. Let me move this light. Oh, you guys, look what I found. This has nothing to do with the project. But look. Okay, so I'm using my assistant's new tools, the new dark gray tools from Cricut. But look what it, it's a fidget spinner. Like, oh, I got it really spinning earlier. I, I had it spinning more, like it was crazy spinning. And it's a big time waster to just sit here and spin. Okay. <laughs> Let's get to the sticks. Oh, let me show you something really fast. Because on this blue one, you can't read it very well. So I used Cricut uh, Medium Point Pens. It's the 1.0 black pens. And... You can't read this one. And, okay, I did not put these in any order except for rainbow order. This one is called the Blue Fin Restaurant. And you can't see it. So, my idea for you is, if you want to use darker colored popsicle sticks, put all the darker colors in one place, and then use the silver metallic or gold metallic pen. And you'll be able to read it much better. Or, just don't use dark ones. Or you can change the colors. You can uh, detach those and change the colors of some of them if you know where you're going to be. So I'm just going to go over where my Cricut wrote. I cannot write as good as the Cricut. And without the Cricut writing it, I wouldn't even be able to do it this good. Bluefin. And uh, I haven't been there yet. But I think it's more expensive. It's kind of why I haven't been there yet. Uh, this Thai restaurant, I don't I've never been there. This Japanese steakhouse, I haven't been there either. I haven't been in the Callisters, but my son was, and he liked it. Okay. There. Okay. I'm not even going to worry about this one yet. We're going to load this one up. And I lost my sticks. Yes, I agree. Cricut needs to make a white pen. So we need 11 sticks. Four, five, six. I'm not going to do the dark ones. I'll do this. This one. Eight. I'm gonna do this purple one. Nine. And I'll do some more yellow. And green. Oh, there's already two green. So another orange. Okay, and if you get ideas for these. 
So I know the bottom one I don't need, but I want to line these up right on the line. And I want to leave room on each side to put the tape down. Now, if you want some to be certain colors, you would have to look at your file and see um, what you're doing. I'm not worried about colors. I just think the colors are pretty. I, you might even be able to get these from Dollar Tree or something. I'm not positive where I got these. I thought these were great for kids to have a board jar because when I was a kid, I remember telling my mom I'm bored. And you could color coat them for being outside. Like you could have some dirt for color for them to do outside, you know, or things to do in the house. That one's not sticking down well. But it's also on the purple mat where I've used it a lot. Now this has a, a rough piece. I think I'm gonna exchange it. This one's a little smoother. If it's rough, you're gonna see it's rough in the writing. Okay, and we're we're just gonna use masking tape, but I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna use the masking tape over. And I'm gonna line the masking tape up on this line here and push that down on the sticks and on the mat. And this is So you guys can put these in a pretty jar. Holly Mostella just did a video, I think just this week, um, about a glitter jar. Kind of like you make glitter ornaments, but you put glitter inside the jar. This would be pretty with that, put a little ribbon on it. I also wanna say, I am not the first one to do a video on popsicle sticks with the Cricut, that the Cricut can write on popsicle sticks. Christopher Allen did a video in 2014. And uh, I need to, I also suggest, <laughs> I used a brown one because I'm not using brown on here. And I was trying different pens to make sure they write, wrote well. So we're gonna use this pen, it's the one point pen, but I have some older ones that I did in this one and they were like smashed more because they were older. So they're, they like bled a little more. Oh, I'm gonna let you guys see. I'm gonna load it in. Oh, I have to go to design space and tell it to cut. Okay, so we're gonna, yeah, I gotta line this all up. I didn't cut this one yet. And we need to move this. So we wanna make sure the writing starts around the one point and that it's above each line and they're all pretty good. So I'm gonna hit continue.
and I'm gonna browse material. Now, if you don't have a maker, you cannot choose wood. Thank you, Janine, for subscribing. Um, my suggestion is just to choose anything you want to choose. Thank you, Shannon. Um, choose any material, the thickest material you have the option of choosing. Uh, I know cereal box, you can choose on any of them. I would just choose something thick. I'm going to choose wood because I have the maker that allows me to choose it. I'm going to try this one. I think, okay, my first batch, I did this one, and this is thinner. And my batch was, it, I think, pushed too hard, and that's why it bled, maybe? Or it's because I used an older pen, too, that might have been smashed from a long time ago. But the last time I did this, the 3, 30 seconds, so it thinks I'm writing on material that's 2.4 millimeter. So that, we're going to try that. That's what I did last time, I think. It turned out fine. Now it tells you to load the pen in here. There's no tool required at all here because we're only writing and we're not cutting. It also reminds us to move the star wheels only because we're doing wood. But if you're doing popsicle sticks, always move the star wheels. I will show you that when we get to the machine. So let's go over here. Okay, so here are the star wheels, and they just move, around. you just push them. I just always leave them all the way to the right. And I'm gonna push this in. I'm pushing in the mat while I'm hitting the go button, or not the go button, the load button. And now I'm gonna hit go when it's blinking. It's doing the flying biscuit. Oh yeah, and Gator is going to be spelled wrong. I was thinking I could, I'll fix it before I give it to you guys. But this is just so me, for me, so I don't care. Can you see it? Okay. Watch it just for another minute. Um, how do you clean the black feed rollers? I don't know. Baby wipes, maybe? I don't know why it's doing all of those. The last time it did each popsicle stick. Oh, does anyone know if you can punch a hole in a popsicle stick? I don't know, it could break. I think it just depends on the popsicle sticks. Yeah, Jen, thanks for bringing that up. Um, I was thinking that too. So this, this is my problem too. I don't know what to have for dinner or what to make for dinner. You could uh, make these things just to have dinner at home, not even restaurants. And you could do it before you go to the grocery store and make pick out what you're going to have to eat every night of the week and then go to the store and get that stuff. Oh, we could make fortune sticks! Ronald, 
that is such a great idea. <gasps> or just, oh, that is such a great idea. Just to have something that, um, maybe an affirmation or just a good saying or, or like a fortune cookie, you could put something like that. Um, just, oh, maybe, maybe a kindness thing. Um, a random act of kindness to do for the day. That would be cool. Um, Melanie Moore says, what setting do you put it on for the air too? You could do cereal box or something that's kind of thicker. You put it to custom and then you could maybe put cereal box. Bonnie says, use the drill with a small bit to put a hole in it. Yeah, use a 1 8 drill bit, says M Lady. Yes, you can do this with a crick. Oh, with a cricket expression? I don't know. That's my answer. I don't know if you can do it with a cricket expression. Oh, rubbing the alcohol might work to do on the machine, but like Jamie said, don't do it while it's running. Yeah, you could put gratitude on there and just, um, you could put things you're grateful for. You can also use these on cards. In Christopher Allen's video, um, he had a popsicle stick on a card and wrote thank you on the popsicle stick and use that on a card to make a thank you card. The expression does write, I think it has special pens that you can make it write, but it writes in a bubble, it won't write like this. I'll give as a gift the reasons why I love you, reasons you're my friend, great idea. Also, these would be good gifts for like my mom and dad who never know where to go to eat also. I thought, you know, if they could give me a list of their favorite restaurants, uh, I can make those sticks and then add in some where I think maybe they've never been and make them go somewhere new. And you could have two jars. Oh, and I want to show you this jar. This is the same jar. This is the back piece. <laughs> this is the same one, but it's um, bigger. This was the size I originally was going to do. I'm like, Oh no, this is way too big. And I thought, hey, look, I could put all my infusible ink markers in there. Um, they, these aren't gonna stay in here because I have the other thing for them, but um, so, and we're gonna actually make it this size today because that's what I have cut out to show you how to make it. And I thought it'd be, it's the same thing, but smaller. It'd be easier to show you how to do it with it being bigger. Okay, should we go back over here? Um, how can you determine what fonts to use for writing? I show this in a lot of my classes. If you are not, oh, I can't show you because it's writing. It says it's 83% done, 84. Um, I show that in so many of my classes, and I think I might have just done that recently in a Cricut tip. So I started doing videos that are hashtag Cricut tip. They're supposed to be shorter videos, around five minutes. The last one was 17. I also have a giveaway in one of my Cricut tip videos. You can still enter the giveaway. You can win $495 value of infusible ink products you'll get everything you need for infusible ink except for the press <laughs> but all the products so you get a t you get 15 boxes of infusible ink you get every color of pen they have you get uh lots of blanks and some other things so make sure you go to that video find that video it was last friday i think and Tomorrow, we have a Cricut Design Space class starting 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific. I answer your questions live. I have no idea what 
Oh, not tomorrow. It's Saturday. Today's Thursday. Okay, I have to remember that. And, oh, look, it's done. So, Saturday, every Saturday morning, 11 a.m., except for the next Saturday. A week from Saturday, I won't be here. Okay, so are we ready to see it? Look, they're all done. They're all perfect. Isn't that so cool? Okay, let's move the camera down. So, and this tape I took off from other ones and I just recycled it. I just stuck it to the side of my table. And where's my sticks? Okay. Now, like I said, and, and somebody said I would make them all the same color so somebody doesn't um, keep choosing their same restaurant. Okay, but here you can do it blindfolded, not looking. You can do it if you want. My idea is to pull one out and then put it in another jar. And then you go through one jar first so you're not going to the same restaurant over and over. So you do the whole jar first and then you start on the other jar when this jar is empty. And every time you do it, add a new restaurant. You can just go make one little um you can put one down and do some writing and add one new restaurant every time also i have to tell you i had the idea for this too is say you have a family of four you have four different colors so you let each family person choose five or ten restaurants whatever you want to do and put all theirs in one color and so say it's alex's turn to pick one of his favorite restaurants. Well, we have somebody else draw one of Alex's colors. Not that you're drawing your own color, you're, we're drawing, taking turns and drawing for their color. So we do say his color was yellow, we specifically draw a yellow one, and that's where we go. I just thought that was more fun than drawing for yourself, is like you're choosing for somebody and it's their favorite restaurants, because it's the, in their list. I don't know, I just always think it's better to give than to choose. Okay. Okay, so here we have, oh, let's go ahead and do this other one. This mat's stickier. It has not been used as much. Now, you don't have to put the money signs on them either, but I did that in case like I want to grab out like all the fast food. Like I don't want to do fast food today. So I can easily grab out all the fast food without looking at all the names. And I can choose if we want to go to a nicer place or a cheaper place. So this will be double the amount when it's done. So I think that'll be cute you can also write on these your Cricut can write on them before you know while you're cutting and scoring these they can also write or you could cut out some vinyl to fit inside here too there's just it's endless what you can do with your Cricut guys okay now here's the file this one makes it this big So we're making it that big. Always store your Cricut pins point side down. Always. Yeah, there are so many great ideas. So even if you put the ideas here in the live chat, please come after the video is ready for comments. It has to process and everything. Put the comments in there and put them in under the video. Okay. This looks like the bottom, but it's the top. 
So you have straight score lines here. This is the top of the box. This is the bottom and this is the bottom. Um, I think I'm going to score these first. So there's two score lines here, like that. It's going to go down like this and have a nice inner part. So I'm going to score that one first and just bend it. And then it has these other score lines and we are just going to fold it on every single score line. I'm going to do all of these face in the same way first. It doesn't matter how you do it. Whoops, just flattened that one out. Okay, now we're going to go to all the other ones. I've been wanting to do a video on these for a long time. And then tonight when I have this cut out to put together, I'm like, uh-oh. That's what I said. Uh-oh. How do I do this? And so... I just folded them and scored them all and then I figured it out and then when I did the second one I really figured out how to make it easier okay. and then all these back down okay oh this has two little pieces here that are scored so we have all these folded they're all folded the same way. There's not like mountain fold and valley fold. They're all the same. And then this gets onto this. So you make this, this piece goes underneath this side. And you want to line this up straight in the center of that diamond. So when you if you can see it on this one yeah so there's a line there that's the that's where they that's the back of it so we are just going to glue this on top of that one okay we're using art glitter glue I felt like saying art glitter glue to the rescue I think that came from Saturday morning cartoons when I was a kid. What did that come from? So I put glue all along there. I'm going to... That one wasn't folding right. Okay. So we're going to line these score lines up here with the score line here. They're going to go right on top of each other. So I'm going to do the top first. And then line that up. We want to make it a seamless line here. And push here. Push on these pieces on the inside. Whoops, need that right there. Could you use light or medium chipboard for the box? You could use craft board. You can't use chipboard 
unless you can score it and fold it. I, w I wouldn't use anything stronger than craft board. But like I said, this is just paper. It's just, I could use script. Uh, oh, actually with this one, with it being this size, I had to use 12 by 24 paper and a 12 by 24 mat. So to make it bigger, this one, I, you know what? I had to do 12 by 20. This is over 12 inches. I had to use 12 by 24 inch mat for these. Thanks for bringing that up because I forgot. And that's why I used paper because I have a lot of 12 by 24 paper from Cricut. And guess what, guys? It's 40% off. And if you have excess, you get another 40% off. And if you use my code, you get another 40% off and free shipping. Okay. So now we have to do the top. And notice the corners, it has a straight corner, but the other side has an angle. So the angle piece goes on top of the other straight corner. And that way it gives it a mitered edge. So it looks like that. See how the line is a diagonal? Otherwise, if you do it wrong, it's okay. It'll still work. But then, I don't know if you can see that. It's, it's not a mitered corner. Mitered corner just looks better. Okay, so what I do is I just put a little bit of glue. That's too much glue. <laughs> Fold that down. And then put that one over it. And I thought, oh my gosh, this is not working. It's going to take forever to that glue to dry. Then I tried it with adhesive tape. That didn't work either. So what I found was these little pieces here that are giving it a nice edge, fold those completely up, then fold that over, and then you can pinch this and put pressure on it from the inside, okay? So once you do that, it'll dry pretty quickly. And don't use as much glue as I just did. My discount code is HAPPY, H-A-P-P-Y, because I'm always happy. If you choose to be happy, it brings good vibes to you. And good things come with good vibes. So I'm sticking my finger down here and then sticking my thumb on there and putting a little pressure on it. And there are links below. If you use my links, I get a small commission. If you don't use my links, I don't get anything. And it doesn't cost you anything extra to use my links. That's how I do so many giveaways. In every single Saturday Live uh, Design Space class, I do a giveaway. I also do a giveaway every single Wednesday. I give away $25 to somebody who has used one of my projects and shared it on social media with the hashtag Melody Lane Designs. Nope, wrong. With the hashtag Melody Lane Inspired. And I'm giving away $495, although that one for the Infusible Ink, that one is sponsored by Cricut. But I did a giveaway in my group this month, or last month. Yeah, I think it was the end of last month. We reached 250,000 people in my Facebook group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane. There's links in the description. And so I gave away $250 worth of Cricut product. And she got it really fast. She lives in Canada even. So I asked her what she wanted. She gave me a list and I purchased it. With my credit card and sent it to her. What is your favorite glue? My favorite glue is this glue. The uh, Art Glitter Glue. It does not have glitter in it. It's good to use if you want to glitter, but I don't even hardly use glitter. It's not for that, although I need to do this one again. I 
but it's the only glue I really use for paper crafting. Okay, so now we got the sides and top done. If we do this and put our sticks in, they're gonna fall through. We gotta do the bottom. Okay, so the bottom is the shape and it has score lines. If you don't have a score wheel, the Explore Machines or the maker you can use it on has a scoring stylus and sometimes it doesn't score deep enough and you can't see it, but when you know where they're at, if you just bend it, then it starts to show up. It's actually there, you just can't always see it well. So if you know where it should be, kind of bend your paper and you'll see it. Okay, here's what I did on the other two boxes and it worked. Whoops, that's the bottom. I just kind of stuck this inside and then I glued it. So I put it in first. And at first on all of them, I felt like, oh, I don't know if it fits, if I did it correctly. But it I worked on all of them and it, it did correctly. Okay, so I have all the flaps in there and yeah, sometimes it comes out, go back in there. And I'm gonna turn it over. And what I'm gonna do, do you see these flaps in here? You can't see when I, see how you can see the holes? You like, you can see my hand underneath, see that? You can see through the box. There's flaps in there, and I'm gonna put glue on the inside of this. Put glue on there. I'm just, I might not be doing it that great, but it works out. This one, it all glued well, and I just did the same thing. I just put glue inside the flaps and then stuck them together. Oh, look at that. Let's try it again. And even though you think it doesn't fit, it fit every single time and I didn't think it fit either time I did the others. So I'm just gonna do one at a time. So I, I don't know how you guys can see this, but I'm putting glue on the outside of the flap. You know what, let me see. So I'm putting glue, I did that through the box, but I just put glue on the outside of the flap. I'll put this back in. Okay, now that piece has glue on it. It was not this hard before. It's because I'm trying to show you. Okay, where's the glue? So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna push the glue, the glue one up against the wall. So I have glue on this one. So I have my hand in here pushing up against here where the glue is. And I'm also pushing down here to try to get a nice neat edge there. And this is so much more difficult than it was the first two times I did it because I wasn't doing it on video. Yes, these boxes are in design space. I did not design these boxes. I only played around with the size of them. Okay, this one's going much easier. To find these boxes, um, 
you can go to images, click on cartridges and search vase and it will come up. There's like a cartridge image set of these. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, I just ruined it myself because I was just thinking, I was just going to say, see how easy these are going now? And then it doesn't. That's how things go. This box is not in my files uh, and none of the restaurants are in the files yet. I'm going to put them in tomorrow. They're going to be in the files. I'll add this one to the files, but I didn't create it. Cricket did. Okay, so now we got one more side left. I don't know if you can see. See how the three sides are closed up and then this one side? And I'm putting, can you see this way? Maybe you can. I'm putting it on the outside of that flap, not inside, although I did drop a piece of glue inside. And then I'm pushing on it with this hand and then pushing on it the outside with this hand. And if you push down too hard, it'll come up, but just push it back in with this hand. Oh, Sam, my, my Sammy says use one of the popsicle sticks to push the flaps together inside your cube. How smart are you? Well, actually, I think my fingers are better. <laughs> the only reason is this is not flat. See how, hold on, can you see? See how that's at an angle? It's actually going out. It's not straight. If it was straight, it would be better with the popsicle stick. See there, now it's done. Now, like I said, this is probably too big. The one I'm going to share is this size. But you can grab it all and just drag it to any size you want. You can make it bigger. But these are in design space. The one in design space is just a tiny bit smaller than this one because I think I made this one bigger. For some reason, I thought it needed to be bigger. I was wrong. It needed to be smaller. And I still have, this is... Is this only two? Three. This is three of these cuts. So I have one more to cut and then I know I can come up with a lot more restaurants too. So that's that. What do you guys think? Are there any more ideas? Did I miss anything in the chat? You guys, I can't craft and read chat at the same time. And I have right now 110 videos that are live design space classes. You guys, I don't charge for those videos. They're always free. You can always ask questions. If you have any questions, you can always come into our Facebook group, Cricut Design Space with Melody Lane, post some screenshots of your project if you need help with them and share your projects. We love to see inspiration of anything you make from your Cricut. Okay. Do you have any last minute questions or ideas on things? You can do this. Like I made this personalized for me. Um, and some of those restaurants I put in there I've never been to, but I've wanted to go to. So I thought, hey, this will make us try it. Instead of going to the same places over and over. I think you do need 12 by 24 paper for the smaller jar. You could make it a little bit smaller. Um, and it would fit. Or try, try some of the other things. Or just put them in a glass jar. You don't have to make this jar. But these are fun. There are some of these. I think this, this one was made with two different pieces. So this was made with 12 by 12 paper. Even though it's huge, it was more than one sheet of paper. 
So it was, because I know I don't have this paper in 12 by 12 or 12 by 24. It's hard to see the seams on this one. It goes down like this. So this was made with 12, even though this is bigger, and they have more like this. this there's kind of like two different kinds. There's this one, and then there's this type. They're in the same uh, image set. But these, you don't need the 12 by 24 paper. And they have smaller ones of these, or you can make this much smaller. Oh, Tanya, great idea. Golf courses at the villages can never decide where to play. I don't golf, but for, some, for those that do, or for anything, maybe where to go on a vacation. If you um, want to put different destinations where you want to go, like you don't have to pick every week or, you know, maybe it's once a year, but put some destinations in there and plan ahead. You know, where are we going on our next vacation? That's where we're going. Let's start planning. Yeah, and a chore list for kids. That is a great idea. Oh, my Sammy says gardeners can use them to label plants that are uh, in the spring to mark their seedlings. Yes, that is a great idea. You can uh, mark them for plants. You could even put uh, plant directions. You know, how much you water. If you wanted to give a little plant to somebody, you could uh, stick something on there and have it write a little more directions or even glue some paper or something to it. And yay, Linda shopped the Cricut sale today. It is a great sale. So don't miss out. The only thing not on sale is the infusible ink it's so new it's not going to be on sale for a while projects to make or books to read that is a great idea you guys we have so many and you, okay you don't have to use the Cricut to write on these you can just write on these with a sharpie or a Cricut pen whatever you want to do but it's an idea and it's nice to have it in the project and let it draw and write for you and to make a gift for somebody else. I think this is a great homemade gift for somebody. I would have loved it if somebody would have done it for me. Yay, a Baskets is going to Disney World next November. Yes, a reward list for kids is great. Like if they get an A on the report card, here you get to pick from your re the reward jar. Um, Carolyn, I don't know. It could be that your device, your iPhone doesn't remember places. I don't have to verify every time. Who changes the baby's diaper? Yeah, you could do that. You, you could do so many ideas with this. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Yes, these would make great gifts. You can put a little ribbon around it. You can decorate it. You can just do, uh, I saw some with a mason jar with the lid on it, but the inside of the lid wasn't on. You know what I mean? So it gave it a nice finished look. You can put some ribbon around it. You can label it. They had all kinds of labels on them. All right. Oh, try a new recipe. Yeah. You could put uh, dinners on there you've never made. And then um, just put the dinners on here. And then you go Google or look up a recipe for that item. Oh, Marlene. Great idea. Make for Thanksgiving thankful form. Pass around the table. Yes, Sheila, we can go to a restaurant we haven't been to before. You could draw flowers on the sticks. Yeah, you could. Cricket has lots of flowers. 
that are drawn. Oh, a word of the day? That is a good idea. That's good for kids to uh, put a word in there that they may not know and have them look it up and read what the word is to give them a new word. That's a great idea for teachers. Oh, it's a good idea for teachers too, to just put their kids' names, all the students' names on a stick um, and use that for, and then have another jar to maybe, you know, this kid does this this time and then goes into the new jar until all the other kids, I don't know what it's for, but uh, for ideas, uh, who reads out aloud today or something, or who wants to tell us what they did over the weekend or, you know, whatever teachers do. It's been a long time since I've been in school. All right, thanks everybody. Please put the com comments down below of your ideas and come back and check um, the ideas and like the comments that you like. Put a, Give them a heart, give them a like. Colleen, that is great. Great idea for people who are unorganized to put your adult chores on there to clean. That's a good idea too. I might need that. Yeah, I don't like to do chores. <gasps> yes, that would be a great gift for teachers. Everybody is always asking what to make for the teachers. You could totally get a list of all the kids' names in the class and make this for the teachers and the teachers can come up with ideas of what to do for it if you can't come up with the ideas like i don't know but um that's a great idea a teacher's gift all right guys love you i will see you saturday morning tomorrow i might be doing a cricket tip hashtag cricket tip a short video I don't know what I'm doing. If you want to submit a Cricut tip, I'll give you credit for the Cricut tip and um, email it to me, melodylanedesigns at gmail.com and put hashtag Cricut tip on it. Okay. Are you guys all ready? All right. I'm going to let you go. A honey-do list. Numbers for a white elephant game. Yeah. There, there's so many things. You can make them for so many things. You can put letters on each one uh, and have the kids play a game and they have to come up with a word for that letter. And you can make a game of it that there's like an ABC game where one person does the A, then the second person has to repeat the A and B word. Third person has to repeat the A, B, and C word. There's some game like that. Yes, great idea to put Bible verses on them. All right, guys, I love you and I will see you possibly tomorrow.